don't panic, I don't go into it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here. Looking at a lovely church as usual, just outside the Victories at Balstead. Uh, beautiful day, you can't get any better. Try and eat some new gloves. Some sort of spring gloves, very nice. Couldn't wear them in the winter, bloody hands fell off, but today... Anyway, as you know I usually talk about loads of different bloody things, but today I'm going to talk something not political, because I'm not into political things on vlogs, but something I want to, something I read the other day. And I know a lot of you boys and girls live in the country and a lot of us live in the towns like me, I'm a townite. There was a little article on the, uh, on the internet the other day about fox hunting. Yeah, fox hunting. And uh, what it was, it's been sort of banned for several years in this country and uh, a lot of people like fox hunting and I might actually play the devil's advocate here a little bit and then I'll probably get my own view into it for you but um, at the moment apparently you're only allowed to flush a fox out with two hounds well our Eaton boy friggin Prime Minister thinks that uh, that's not right and it's upsetting a lot of his chums in the countryside so he's proposing that uh, the law has changed back again so you can flush out dogs uh, sorry flush out foxes with 30 dogs so it's like bringing it in by the back door um, I don't know what you boys and girls think of that I don't I know some of you do live in rural communities and it's a big thing but um, and the other thing with these foxes and uh, and I know they're bloody pests, they can be bloody pests, there's no doubt about it. You ask people who have lost their uh, chickens to them. They just go in the chicken pen and they just rip the friggin' heads off. And uh, there was a young lad, I can't remember his name now. Put some, uh, a vid up, of where he lives up in Yorkshire and he had some beautiful geese. And uh, he was showing these geese and geese are quite a, quite a ferocious bloody bird. Anyway. A couple of three weeks later, we shoot another veer. The fox had got in and ripped all the friggin' heads off. So, you know, they're not they are not adorable little creatures with bushy tails that you can bloody, you know, you can coach and take home and give to the kids, because they're not. But they are still a wild animal. And, you know, they've got a right to live in the countryside, the same as a badger or hedgehog or anything else you like, a stoat or whatever. God, look at the people, they bikes out, walks out. It is so damn friggin' good here today. They even think they can walk right across the road like with their dogs. Fucking great. Give them a nod. <laughs> Fucking hypocrite. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So they got a right to live in the countryside, but if they're a pest, surely they've got to be controlled. You know, especially for farmers and um, sheep farmers, so they take baby lambs and that in lamb time and stuff like that and you know I've got no no argument against that at all shoot the little fuckers if they're a nuisance hunt them down but the thing that gets me and I can't understand look at the people late today and we're miles from anywhere the thing that gets me is why do a group of people on horses with red coats on drinking port before they go want to chase foxes down just for the fucking fun of it and the end thing about fox hunting is if they do catch a, a fox, it's ripped to bits by a pack of dogs. And if it does get back to its uh, get back to its foxhole, I suppose you could call it, or lair, and they know where it is, the dogs find this lair, there's some guys there who will uh, dig it out with shovels, pick it up and chuck it to the dogs and they rip it to bits. And if there's any little kids there who were... Uh, on it for the first time and their first sort of hoorah across the countryside they dob their faces in blood from the fox what the frig is that all about now I've got nothing against fishing I used to be a fisherman I used to love going fishing and if I caught a big old fish out of the North Sea mate I took it home gutted it up and cooked it in a pan that was lovely because I ate it and I've got nothing against guys who great killing uh, pheasants 
birds or anything else you know because if you take that home and you actually eat it it's what it's there for but if you shoot it and just leave it on the ground to rot that ain't right let's get past this car oh this is fantastic here today thank you fantastic yeah so if you shoot an animal you know for sport but you eat it I've got nothing against it but if you just shoot it for the fuck of it and just leave it to rot on the ground that ain't right anyway the thing I thought is why don't we reverse the roles when it comes to this uh, these people who like chasing foxes with packs of hounds and stuff ripping them to bits why don't we uh, reverse the roles and get packs of foxes to chase them and we could all sort of go out and watch it I could imagine them fat bastards running across the field with their little red coats on and a glass of port in their hand with a fucking fox hanging on their ass. That'd be so bloody funny. I'd love it. You know? And on a on a strange note, you know, and it is strange, I feel sorry for these people that they have to get into such a barbaric fucking sport. Now I know some of you boys and girls out there come from rural areas and you're going to say it's not, you know, they, the fox don't feel a fucking thing. But would you like to be chased by a pack of freaking great Rottweilers and get caught across the field and ripped to bits by them? Because I bloody wouldn't. So I don't know where these people are coming from. Uh, I think they call themselves the Country Life... I don't know what it's called, the Country Life Alliance. Uh, there's a lot of them because the countryside look it's freaking vast all over the country and they say it's uh, an infringement on their rights and I'm all up for people who uh, have rights you know I've done several vlogs about rights especially from the EC and everything else and uh, we've all got rights but I sometimes think that uh, animals have rights too now you could say, yeah, but you eat, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a vegetarian. Give me a lump of steak and I'm a happy man. Give me a, la a lamb chop or a bloody great sausage. Frig, I'm happy. You know, so some people would say, yeah, but you scoff into, uh, you know, you scoff into these animals. But as far as I know, and I have been in a into a abattoir and uh, in the past, and it's not very nice. But, as far as I'm concerned, them animals are um, uh, slaughtered in the best possible way. They're not sent into a, a field and a pack of dogs sat on them, so they can rip them to bits. And you've got to remember, in this country years ago, that used to be a big sport. We used to have bear baiting, where a bear would be uh, put in the market square and a load of dogs would fight the bear. You know, and uh, that used to be a sport. And I know... There's still a big thing about hair coursing where dogs chase hares. But in that case, a lot of hares do get away because they're bloody quick. And they do get out of the field and get away. And you could say, yes, a lot of foxes get away, and they do. But it's the way they're killed. Now, I've got no bones about it. If you want to shoot a fox because it's a pest on your land, shoot it because it needs to be shot. If it's attacking your livestock or your hens or your chickens, kill the bloody thing. But don't chase it with a pack of dogs just for the fucking delight of it. Because I'll tell you what, and I'm going to go and do a little bit of a strange look at this now. At the spiritual level as well. If you think about it, I, this is only my view and that might sound strange to you. But as far as I'm concerned, these people are not spiritual at all. They can't be. They couldn't have been here on this earth time and time again like a lot of people because they haven't learnt nothing. And if you learn your lessons, you'll learn that you should re treat animals with respect. Even if it's a wild animal, a domestic animal, you wouldn't put your cat out in the garden and get your neighbour's dogs over to rip it to bits in front of you and daub the blood all over your kids. Can you see where I'm coming from? A, I'm not going into a rant here, but uh, I just don't like them. You know, I don't like their attitude either. And I think they should learn that uh, this countryside that we've got here 
is a wonderful place and there's room for foxes, there's room for badgers, there's room for rabbits and they're a bloody pest too and I've got no inkling about people shooting bloody rabbits and if you eat them all the better but uh, it's a beautiful place as you can see today and uh, there's room for everybody and if you want to ride your horse like a knob across the across here like I'm riding my bike now look do it enjoy it it's what a horse is all about ride your horse jump your fences you know have the time of your life on it but I think seriously folks if you need to chase an animal down with a pack of dogs rip it to bits just for the fun of it there's something wrong with you so anyway that's enough for me today from a very very idyllic Suffolk countryside Ride safe boys and girls, Suffolk Andy.